old YouTube world, Mac Daddy 1911 A1 here with the Shade Tree Survivals. This is old Betsy and the Mossberg Patriot. Both of them are empty. No magazines in it. Both bolts are locked to the rear. Alright, I want to show you what, why I had to have the anti-reflection device. Okay. Now let's step back. Sun's coming right on down. It's still above the tree line. Do you see the glint off the scope on old Betsy? Now, do you see the glint off the scope of the, the Mossberg? Now, I can see through the scope on the Mossberg. I can see the wall behind it. But do you see the reflection? No, you do not. Do you see the reflection on the scope on old Betsy? And you see how the flashlight, which is off, how it is reflecting. That's the point. Okay, that is the point. Anti-reflection device, along with a sunshade, will help a lot. Now, of course, you've got that black plastic. Look how it's shining on the, <laughs> the scope cap. Okay? But look how that damn flashlight just just stands out there, and it is off. And even though I've got a camouflage cover, I covered it up. I walked over there and covered it up. You can see it's still really shiny. Okay. You see what I'm telling you? There's a glint off the glass on the cheap scope on the old Betsy. And yeah, we're about to do something about that. Hell, you can see right down in there. And there's nothing off the one with the anti-reflection device. Okay, that was the point, ladies and gentlemen. Just a quick video. Thought you guys might be interested. It is not a waste of time or money. Okay, it is not. And of course, I haven't camouflaged any of the rest of it, but this right here, this illustration on the camera, with my naked eye, it doesn't look that bad. But on the camera, it looks horrible on the flashlight. Just something, you know, I'm out here testing the way, and I was like, you know what, it'd be a great video to do. But from this angle right here, you see the little glint? That gets your third eyeball or a canoe in your head.